Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. My name's Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Bryony Kimmings, who is starring in the show Credible Life or Superstar Role Model. Yes. How's it going so far? It's going all right, thank you. Good. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's a tough one, because I normally make work on my own, and it's with my niece, Yeah. she's nine. Um, but um, yeah, good. Five-star review in the Scotsman yesterday. So that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> and so your show's about a woman called Catherine Bennett. Um, can you tell me a bit about her? Kind of. It's, an, it's not a show about a woman called <laughs> Catherine Bennett. Um, Catherine Bennett is an invention of my niece. Mm. And I asked her to invent a credible, likeable superstar role model mm. as an alternative to the kind of commodified and sexualised pop offer that she gets <laughs> in mainstream culture. Yeah. She invented a lady called Catherine Bennett. I promised her that I would become Catherine Bennett, who happens to be a paleontologist mm -hmm. and a pop star. Mm -hmm. She sings songs about animals and friendship and all things that nine-year-olds like. And Taylor manages her. So it's a real thing that's happening in the real world. Yeah. Um, she's not a made-up thing. Uh, so I said I'd become her, make her more famous than Jessie J. Mm -hmm. The show is the story of what happens when two people try and take on the global tween machine. <laughs> and why did you want to include your nie niece in this show? Um... <laughs> I don't know, she, she wasn't going to be in it at the beginning. I think I just wanted her opinion because she's mm. nine and because I've been, I was looking a lot at tween culture and sort of asking her opinion a lot on certain things because I was kind of baffled by the limited version of female and sexuality mm. that they kind of give. Mm. Um, and she just sort of fell into it really. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a little, she's quite a dancer, so I was like, oh, we make up dances together anyway and I'm babysitting her. Then I said to my sister, oh, we could do a show together. Mm. It sort of happened. Yeah. So what kind of role model do you think that we should be having or young girls should be having today? Do you know what? I've always I've always sort of with this this project's been going on for nearly two years now. Mm. Um, you know, and it's going really well. And I guess and I guess um, the whole point was not to sort of say like, oh Katy Perry's awful or Jesse J's alright, you know. Mm. It it was just to present an alternative mm. because there's sort of there's very much a very sort of similar niche sort of thing. They all look pretty similar. They all try and sell you something. They all wear bikinis. Um, so a good role model for me is someone that has a sort of feminist ethic, mm. someone that's doing something on their own terms. I mean, Jesse J's I think quite individual and cool actually. Um, someone that yeah, someone that doesn't. So I don't know. Rihanna said recently that she didn't want to be a role model for children. Um, yet. Every ch every school I go into, you know, fifty percent of the kids will say that they love her. And they all know the words as well. Exactly. It's kind of scary. It's actually. scary, and I think a good role model is someone that kind of respects the fact that what they're saying has um mm. has an effect on people, and kind of therefore thinks about what they say maybe, yeah. and encourages people to to be individuals, I yeah. suppose. And why do you think that performance art is so effective in getting the message across? Do you know what? I make performance art, but I don't make it for like galleries where people stroke their beards. Mm. I've always, I've always liked the idea of, um, you know, putting it into as mainstream a venue as possible. And I guess mm. that that's my aim. Like as I think, as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger for me, like mm. that we could maybe one day see performance art with O2. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I think performance art is handy because it's not, it's not a story written and mm. acted. It's, it's someone telling you something yeah. from their heart. Mm. And I guess it's, in a way, I prefer it to stand up, which I do do, um, because I think that you can, you can use it to, you can use it to make people laugh, but then you can always have this sort of like punch in the stomach, which you can't always get with comedy. So I think performance art, and also it's a bit mental, so people are like, whoa! You know, they allow you to do stuff like go and yeah. try and get famous. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your plans for the future then with the show? Well, it's touring. Mm -hmm. It's going to Soho for three weeks in October, yeah. Soho Theatre, and then around the country and around the world. Um, well, I've got to keep Catherine Bennett going until I've achieved the fame aims. Which is great. <laughs> I have to get a million hits on YouTube. And like, I mean, we've had national radio plays, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, I have to get on Ellen. Okay. Yeah. So you know. Uh, just a few things to achieve <laughs> in the next 12 months. But um, yeah, carrying on, until, carrying on the Catherine Bennett project until oh. the end of next year. Okay. Um, so everyone can check her out at catherinebennett.so. Yeah. Uh, and follow her at Real CB. She's got like proper pop videos and proper, you know, fans. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Thanks for having me. And if you'd like to see the show, it's at 5.45pm at Pleasantstone. Thank you very much.